Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group at the Morning Market Stir for Thursday, April the 6th. Whoa, look out below. Big reversal in stocks yesterday after being up 1%, giving up all those gains and more, filling in the gap, and actually closing negative. The NDX led losses yesterday as tech had made new all-time highs and closed down half a percent. So big reversal, but let's remember the NDX has made new all-time record highs three out of the last four sessions. So looking at the other markets, you saw the Dow tumble and you saw the S&P back off as well. Keep an eye on 2363 is the midpoint of the S&P all-time highs to last week low. So let's see on a weekly basis if we can close above that and make another attempt on 2400 once again. Action was in crude. Crude made some new relative highs yesterday, almost 52, 5190 or so. Again, 5250 is the bottom of that channel where it traded between 5250 and 5750 for three months before this recent breakdown. Gold did back off yesterday, but firmed up in the aftermarket. So trying to find its course there, trading around the 1250 level. So where do the markets stand here this Thursday morning after that extreme sell-off and pullback? Well, we're up just a little bit. Uh, we're up five points in the S&P right now, but more importantly, 10 points off the overnight low. So a nice comeback there. Dow right now is up about 30, uh, about 50 points off the low, and the NDX as it stands right now is up 12 points. Uh, looking at these markets, the gold market did get as high as 12.60 last night when the stock market was lower. We're at about 12.55 once again, so bouncing back about $5. And crude oil, if we look at the board there, is at 51.61, making an attempt on those recent highs. Now we've got the uh, unemployment numbers tomorrow morning, and the action that broke the market yesterday, or some of it anyways, was the uh, perceived stealth rate hike, where the Fed is going to look to sell some of its portfolio, 4.5 trillion in bonds that's accumulated with its uh, policy over the last few years. That, in effect, would be like a rate hike. So that's what the markets didn't like yesterday. But as we talked about, there's a very, very small chance, almost none, of a hike in May. It's about 6%, but it raises to about 70% when you look at the June meeting. So to summarize, as the cash stock market gets started here this morning, we've got the S&P up five, the Dow right now up 20, and the NASDAQ up 12 after that reversal yesterday. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group where it all comes back to commodities.